What is going on, everybody? I am back today to talk about another early 2000s horror movie, and I just did my review of House on Haunted Hill and kind of talked about reviewing that movie for nostalgia purposes, even though it was a movie that I'd never seen before. Um, this is a movie that I reviewed because I have seen it, but probably not since 2003 or 2004. When this movie first released, I remember seeing it and being a teenager, and it scaring the crap out of me but I didn't remember anything about it plot wise or performance wise or anything and I know this is one of those movies that over the years has had kind of a resurgence where like within the horror community I've seen a lot of merchandise made for it and people talk about the elements of the movie that they really like and I know that this is still a movie that's considered deeply flawed despite all that and so because of that I really wanted to go back and watch it because it has been years over 20 years at this point pretty much since I've seen this movie and today I'm going to be talking about 13 Ghosts with you today. 13 Ghosts is directed by Steve Beck. Arthur and his two children inherit his uncle's estate, a glass house that serves as a prison to 12 ghosts. When the family, accompanied by a nanny and an attorney, enter the house, they find themselves trapped in an evil machine designed by the devil and powered by the dead to open the eye of hell. Aided by a ghost hunter and his rival, a ghost rights activist out to set the ghosts free. The group must do what they can to get out of the house alive. So, as I said, I have not seen this movie in probably 20 years, which made me want to go back and watch it. And this isn't a great movie by any means, but it is a movie that I very much enjoy. It's one of those movies that there's so much about it that I can really appreciate, despite some of the issues in the script and the pacing, and even some of the performances. The concept here is really incredible, and I talk a lot about remakes, and I've talked about remakes a lot recently. I think this is a movie that deserves a remake. I think someone, if you get this in the correct director's hands, and there are a ton of amazing horror directors making movies now, you could make this something very, very special. And I think it has a really great core and concept, and it has great setting and great practical effects and things that really can immerse you into the world. There's so many other glaring issues surrounding it that I think if you did a modernized version especially mixing practical effects with computer generated you could create something truly special now but I'm going to talk about this movie today and I'm looking forward to discussing it with you so at the beginning of the movie we are introduced to Arthur played by Tony Shalhoub who lives at home with his daughter and his son and their nanny and we find out early on in the movie that his wife passed away in a tragic fire and ever since ever since her death they've had a really hard time staying afloat he makes a very minimal salary as a school teacher and he's trying his hardest to take care of the kids but he can't always be there and present for them and one day an attorney shows up at his house and says hey your uncle has just recently passed away and he says I didn't know my uncle very much other than my family always said that he squandered the family's fortune and they show him a video of his uncle who says like he's gone on all these adventures in his life and learned all of these things and he wants to give the family his house and that the house is incredibly special to him and he wants to do that because he wants a happy family to live there so the family is taken aback by this and they go with the attorney to this house and they get to this house and it is a completely glass house with latin written all over the walls and the walls move and different areas in the house shift when they get there they are confronted by dennis played by matthew lillard who we see at the beginning of the movie was a co-worker with the uncle and he's posing as an electrician because he's trying to get into the house to get money that he believes is owed to him and when he goes inside he realizes that the uncle has taken these 12 ghosts that he has captured and put them inside of the house and he realizes that this family is in danger and that something more sinister is in the works and the entirety of the film is the family finally realizes that there are ghosts in this house and everyone in the house has to attempt to survive. So like I said this movie is incredibly entertaining but it's very deeply flawed. For starters I have to talk about I love the 
the character designs in this. Obviously, the director and the creators of this movie came up with very specific storylines and backgrounds to each one of these ghosts. And there's a lot of detail with each and every one, whether that be the costumes they wear, that are implications as to who they are as people, because they are supposedly all people that die. And I find that fascinating. You spend a lot of the movie kind of crafting stories in your head as to each who each one of these ghosts were and you get little bits of exposition in the movie that tell you bits and pieces about some of them but it's it's never overly expository. You just really get the information that you need. But I also feel like there could be more because it's the most fascinating part of the film. I also really love the design of the house. It looks fantastic. The shifting walls, all the Latin that's written on the walls, the gears and the floor and all throughout the house. It's just a really fascinating world that the director drops you into and then by adding these glasses that are the only way that you can see the ghosts it's really cool because it changes the environment when you look at the room through the glasses and i love the attentiveness to the detail in that because you as a viewer, you're like, what could be going on in here with a character that's looking in the room without the glasses compared to with? And I thought that was a really nice touch that the director incorporated. The violence in this movie is great. There's one kill in particular in this movie that looks incredible for the time period. It's all done practically, and it's fantastic. You can tell a lot of the budget probably went into that one specific kill sequence because a lot of the other kills in the movie are relatively tame compared to that one really gnarly kill early on in the movie. But I like that, and I really, like I said, I feel like a lot of the budget also went into the character design in this movie, which just makes it really easy to immerse yourself into. But that's where my problems begin. The performances in this movie are not great. I like Tony Shalhoub. I used to watch Monk. I thought it was a very entertaining television show. He's not great in this. I love Matthew Lillard, and he is hamming it up in this movie. There's some moments I feel like he's better than others, but everyone in this movie, especially the child actors in this, are not good at all. Uh, just something about their performances. They're so they're so kind of stale. Like there there's just not much to the dialogue they're delivering. There's one scene in particular with the ghost that's the woman who appears to have killed herself that she's completely nude and she, the the daughter goes into the room that I'm assuming was the modeled after the room the woman killed herself in or whatever and she's not seeing the woman in the room because she doesn't have the glasses on but she's like splashing water from the tub and her her face like oh this is a wonderful bathroom and it's like one of the cheesiest scenes I've ever seen in a movie just like the way that it's framed and the way the director is trying to incite horror a mix like amidst like this person just like excited to be in this large restroom it's just really goofy the way that they present it and it, and it honestly had me laughing more than like feeling any sort of tension or fear but there are some truly horrific moments in this as well so I think the con contrast is okay but the performances don't make it an easy watch some of the plot devices and the the very blatant exposition can get really irritating after a while there were so many moments where it was just like exposition dump after exposition dump that i got kind of sick of it after a while and i know you have to give little bits and pieces of information but when there's literally a scene of a person describing to you exactly what is happening, like they're reading out of a page of a book, I, I don't know, it just took me out of it a little bit. And then you get the same conversation reiterated to you later on in the movie. And I just feel like this movie suffers from a really bad script with some really cool characters. And there are some really tense moments of violence in this movie that I like a lot. And it gets kind of cheesy towards the end, but I sort of expect that and like the comedic bits that are added in it are a little ridiculous like the nanny character feels like she's just incorporated for comedic levity like every time she's on screen she's just giving a ridiculous one-liner and I don't have a problem with that but like the movie just feels hokey most of the time which is why it's a mixed bag for me I enjoy the setting and I enjoy the creatures and I like
like some of the more sus suspenseful, tense moments, but it's not a great movie as a whole. It's just one that I really enjoy, despite the numerous amount of flaws that it has. So if you've seen 13 Ghosts, do you love it? Do you hate it? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. I think this movie is deeply flawed, but I still really enjoy it. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.